All right, guys, here we are again. I've seen this one right here come out of a den, probably about 40 yards out, and I walked up about 10 yards and popped him right in the head. Pretty decent headshot there. Let me get it out of the sun. Uh, he was, his heart was still beating, so I took a log over here. Oh, there it is. Sit there and grabbed that and popped him in the head. I didn't feel like wasting the bullet. But yeah, that's my update. One more. They're both pretty big, but this one over here is still bigger. This one's rigor mortis is sitting in. It's getting hard. Alright, hope you guys like this. Hopefully I can get one more, or a few more, but my camera, I got that shot on video too, this one right here on the right, got that shot on the camcorder there, I got it mounted on my gun, but uh, it keeps showing the battery's dead, but every time I turn it back on, it's got two bars, so we'll see. Well, this is it for today, it's almost 11.30, and I've been in here since about 8.30, so three hours, two squirrels, to me that ain't bad, I mean... Usually this place is full of them, but today it's just kind of cold and windy and they ain't moving much, so, I mean, I've seen, I've seen probably two or three more, but they were so far out that uh, I couldn't get my camcorder on the rifle here to focus in. And if I didn't mention before, I brought my Marlin Model 60 with me with the Dragon Off stock. I got a video posted on my... YouTube channel of sighting it in with the uh, Remington Golden Bullet, but today I was using Remington Subsonic. The Subsonic are all right. They don't make a loud crack because you know they're uh, they go slower than the speed of sound. So I don't think it really mattered today though because the weather. I mean it's it's like 29 degrees out and wind was picking up, so they're not moving today. So now I'm going to take these back home, I guess, and cook them up. But uh, I want to tell you guys thanks for watching, and uh, hope you comment, and rate, subscribe. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, I'm thinking about trying Winchester hollow point subsonic bullets because if you see, uh, there's a video on YouTube of uh, ballistics gel test, and According to it, it expands better than what I was using today, which are Remington subsonics and 22 long rifle. So that's just my little input. I'm going to try to see if I can find a box of them and do a shooting video and see how accurate those are. And I'll do a shooting video of, uh, or I'll, I'll, in that same shooting video, I'll uh, compare the Remington to it. Because uh, since they're both subsonic, you, they're not as, they're both about the same decimal um, loudness and the only thing that I'm worried about is the accuracy of each bullet and how, um, you know, what's the expansion. So, but I've seen the test, so I don't have to, you know, worry about that. Now I just got to worry about changing my uh, bullets over and probably adjusting my scope, maybe if I even find any, because some bullets around here are hard to find. But anyway, uh, thanks for uh, watching this little video here. I know it's not little. It's probably a long video because so I got to edit all these videos together. But uh, like, again, like again though, thanks for watching.